imposter or something like that. Start the game. Apparently, oh. someone from Square Enix visited my stream earlier. Nice. Oh. Oh, cool. Like someone in a high, etch high place of, um... Well, the thing... Do you want to be in the latest Final Fantasy title? Hell so, yeah. yeah. Just yeah, donate $250,000 to this website right here. No, it was just Arr. like, um, oh, the name shit. was just, it had like one of those important tags on Twitch and it had the name Square God Enix. damn it. Oh, it was, I can't believe bogey. this. This is Double a bogey. Bullshit. There was a thing actually, that was really cool, Riley, but, uh, when Among Us was still like in his peak of popularity, uh, actually one of the main developers hopped Got in it. his stream and everyone got a free pet because the developer put the code in for us. <laughs> that reminds me of when, like, Matthew Mercer would uh, be, like, streaming Overwatch and do his, like, McCree ah. voice when doing... That's an interesting <laughs> one. Make... Pick your hoop. And, it... and because he's the actual voice of McCree, it would make people Damn think it. that he was ulting <laughs> when he wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, That's so funny, that. actually. It'd be really funny because he'd be, like, playing Winston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Ouch! And you just hear it's high noon, and everybody's like, yeah. "Crazy, crazy!" And, and he's not even on the team. <laughs> Fuck! Do you mean Winston is in like Ghostbusters Winston? No, no, no. We're, we're talking Overwatch. about Overwatch, my guy. Oh, um, yeah. okay. We're talking like the voice of McCree has his um, ultimate is where he's like, "It's high yeah. noon," and it'll just auto aim headshot everyone. Who's winning? Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, like the, the amount of time it takes to lock on is dependent on how much health they have. Also, did you so it's really good to do it like in a team fight when like everybody's kind of roughed up. From being, uh, another even number. Yeah, I saw that. Such a frustrating number. Poor Ryza. He couldn't make the hoop. He was getting bullied by the hoop. So yeah, folks, donate. We're so, we're almost there. I gotta think First of more of mile spot. Oh, there. Yeah. You should do another sketch stream. That was fun. Oh yeah, no, those were. I like. I'm always open to doing those. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Key. Do you have more hot sauce? Uh, Rise is asking if you have more hot sauce. I mean, I do. Damn it! Yeah. All right, so uh, do this. Do another hot sauce stream, but instead of uh, taking shots Europe of it, just snort it. Try it as California Reapers. Sadistic! Yeah, I'm just gonna go and turn this up. Put it up your nose. Do it. Snort. Good God, imagine if you end up doing that with the last dab from uh, uh, okay. First We Feast. Also, subscribe. Ligma. Oh, <laughs> Ryza. Ligma. Yeah. Ligma. Eh. I'm, I'm still fucking well, you sad. Know what? If, so, if you guys uh, increase the. I can't believe this. The uh, GoFundMe. By fifty dollars, I will make Brett try Dragon's Drool. R. What is the Scoville Oops. rating on it? Uh, let me look it up. <laughs> What's it called? Dragon's Drool. Dragon's yeah, drool. it was. It's a homemade hot sauce that was sold in the dealers did at Euroferns. So furry hot um, sauce. Any of you guys? So I, say, no. I can film it. it. Ah, yeah. it has come in it. The, um, I'm sorry. Nikki, what? I was gonna ask. Do you know what the Scoville rating on it is? <laughs> Oh. It's hot. I can't like, believe it. I know, like, because hot sauces can get ridiculous. Like, a ghost pepper is like a million, but I've heard of hot sauces that have like a nine million rating or something ballistic like that. Uh, it, I mean, I can't like, like, it's, it's very fucking hard for me to say how hot it is because I just have a huge tolerance. Exactly. I mean, no, I mean, a Scoville rating is like an objective measurement. Like, a, a ghost pepper is a million, it a jalapeno is a Scoville rating. Oh, uh, okay. So it's mystery. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you have a Carolina Reaper, I would donate 50 bucks. You can also I mean, donate 50 bucks because you care about your friend Golden Fox. I mean, I do care about my friend Golden Fox, but also I have to have money for a uh, living. Yeah, that's I was true. No, you don't. And wait, so 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 your backbone of your living expenses hinges on oh, a Carolina shots. Reaper pepper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. Please. You must complete the transaction for the ritual to be a success. The Reaper must come. I mean, here's the, here, here we go. If, if the go, let's see, it's at 2,398. If it gets to 2,350, I will 
get all the hot sauces we have in the house and mix them together. Oh dear God! Oh, no! What do you call it? What do you call this creation? Dude, uh, creation. you know what? We'll have like a major like donation gold number. Death of the Phoenix. You'll call it Death oh, of the Death Phoenix. Death of the Phoenix. Ooh. Death, Death of the Phoenix. The Phoenix. So if you want to... Shitting of the Phoenix. You know what? That, 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 look, you're no, right. No, it's a good ring. That's you're, a good ring to it. You're right. I have to increase the goal. So if we can get to 2400, that he'll have Death of the Phoenix. Till then, though. Nice. I Jesus. can't fucking believe this. This is a little ho course. Oh, it's like $2 away. No, dude. Oh, okay, so 2500. I'm gonna die right, on this. We'll do that. Early. Twenty-five hundred will be Derek there we go. Phoenix, and you guys will watch it filmed. Because I'm pretty hey. sure you want to see a reaction to me suffering hot. Do stuff. it live. Yeah, it'll be another Fuck like you. simple little golden key video. Do it live. Or, exactly. Just actually, just make, start the video out with her presenting the hot sauces, just so everyone knows what's in it, and mixing it in. But I do plan on donating on the twenty-nine because that's when I get paid. So I do plan on doing that. Because I'm curious yeah, as to like what would go in it. If it gets to 2500, Death of the Phoenix. But till then, I'd be the same. I'm cleaning my office. Have fun. Have a nice night. Bird. That must be my food. I'll get it for you. Alright, thank you. I gotta get a robe on. What is... <laughs> okay. Sorry, that was Wait. that was me thinking out loud. No, you're All fine. Right. I've heard worse than a live stream, dearie. Double boogie. Bold of you to assume that I am wearing pants. I am not. <laughs> I'm still wearing clothes. Yeah, well, look at this fucking loser over here. He's still dressed. Yeah. What, you got a fucking interview with your bed? <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> kind of. Also, chat, I just want to say, um, I, it's always a welcome to do, you know, a creative hour with the sketch. Oh my god. What the fuck hoop placement is that? Oh. It's for challenge, my guy. I'm pretty sure someone just tried there to commit go. insurance fraud. So, that wasn't a, that wasn't food. It was some lady who was like, oh, we, uh, we oh. have, a." This free package for anyone who has like Medi-Cal or EBT or anything like that. Um, it's a free lifeline. Uh, but to show it, you need to show me your Medi-Cal and your ID and stuff. I'm like, no. Excuse me, no. what? Um, um, hi, that's... I have this amazing free package for you. What is your social security number? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm not trusting a package from a random a random at, dude at eight, from a random woman at 8 p.m. Let alone. Something that would require showing you my Medi-Cal card. Hello, my point. friend. The way you describe this, the sketchier it sounds. I'm from my country. <laughs> in North Korea, I will pay you back if you give me $900,000 yeah, so, uh, in uh, Bitcoin. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know who needs to hear this in the in the watching right now. Uh, if some random lady comes up to your house at, saying that, that you have a free lifeline if you're on a welfare program and or Medi-Cal... Um, and they uh, need to show- you need to show them that you are- Just say no. Don't! Yeah, just Here's no. what you do, you dig into your pocket, and then you pull out the middle finger and close the door. The ultimate power play- that. Sketch from hell. Uh, <laughs> the ultimate power play would have been like, No, but I'm expecting my DoorDash order, is that you? And she says no, and you're like, oh, that's disappointing, you just shut the door. Yeah, it was- <laughs> no, that was just- that was Bizarre. just really sketch. I, I, oh no! Oh. Good job, Brett. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, yeah, Huge, I did. Actually, Obviously, massive. I didn't show them shit. I just was like, that was just really sketchy. That's, oh, that's huge. new. I well, mean, I know we live or... in the age of spam calls and phishing emails and texts and all that, but that's that's even more brazen. No, like, you heard or the spam calls. Who's the spam person? The other day. Or... This person, yeah. if you will. No, the other day we've had like a few knocks at the door of like, hey, we got the special subscription for those big water containers, which even though we have a Brita, so we don't need that. It, it's also just the Why would like, I subscribe to a water container? How do I how do I also just unsubscribe from random people knocking on my door? I know, right? <laughs> that piece <laughs> over there is having a fucking I'm wondering if that's like isn't that a form of identity <laughs> that's like when people do sign up for like a scam thing, they just probably put in a random address. Maybe, I don't know, but either way, uh, 
Yeah, that was uh, that was just an interesting moment. Son of a bitch. That's, that that is weird. So, uh, I think at that point I would feel obligated to give him a Eagle. fake meta card number just so because I'd be dumb enough to think it's real. No, but what if they come back? Uh, well. Like, I, I mean, like, I'm not worried about what they would do, but it's also like I don't want to have to deal with them just coming back thinking I'm interested, you know? Yeah. You keep... It's like feeding a stray cat. The stray cat's gonna come back. Yeah, or like it's like trying to answer like one of those like debt like either a debt collector or telemarketer call. If you do that or even hang up, they know that you're available at that time and you will be like spammed at that time. Yeah. Anyways, go back to your fun. Alright. That was just like, a key. anecdote I wanted to share. Snooky. So, this is a little off topic, but I found this interaction kind of funny oh, slash Mark. awkward. Oh fuck um, it hell. Was I was uh, phoned out with my for my life insurance stuff like a few days for your, like a few, like a I month ago. Uh, and uh I And it was like uh oh, the, there was one of the dick. questions she's like, Did you have any uh relatives that had uh are living? Like your parents are living. I was like, uh my mom is and he was like, Oh, I was like, What happened to your father? And he was like, uh, is your father still alive? Your mother's still alive? I was like, No, my dad uh I was like, I don't know. I turned around, I was like, hey, dad. What the fuck? Oh, I was so close to a whole one. <laughs> Why did I suddenly <laughs> bounce back like I hit an invisible wall? What the shit? Welcome to this huge. game. Huge. Yeah. That was a huge backboard. Huge. Be anything, Reza, because to be kind of honest, that would be a dark joke I would do. <laughs> I mean, she found it funny, so I guess that's brownie points. What no father figure does to a motherfucker. Damn it, boy. Oh, this is where I fucked I mean, up. I, she found it funny, so I guess I won there, so... No, it would've been really... Were... Oh. It would've been really funny if you were just turning around to, like, a fucking urn sitting on the fireplace. Oh. <laughs> because, like, that's the thing, though, because, like, my dad's urn at the time, it was that and the blank I got from Walmart saying, go. like, uh, sorry for your loss and all that shit. All my little dad shrine was in the living room where she was sitting oh. at the time. Oh my so god. Really... So it oh. actually worked. You actually did turn around to the urn. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Fuck. <laughs> really I don't think she realized it was an urn until I did it, though. Maybe that's Friendly. why she found it funny. Friendly. I don't know. She probably was I mean, like, that's... what? I mean, I'm just going to point this out, too. Um, It's like making a police officer laugh. If you can make the cop laugh, you are probably, like, A-okay and just got away with whatever speeding ticket you did. If not, then you are definitely earned yourself the ticket. Oh yeah, I I, I don't think I can make a, a fucking cop laugh. No shot. Like, I mean, it's really not hard to get out of a speeding ticket. Just fucking do what they ask most of the time. <laughs> I like, do yeah, it isn't, but like, it is one of those things where it's like the general is. There's this idea of if there's a high risk, high reward oh, game shit. you can play where if you can make the policeman laugh, you uh. probably got away with it. But Fuck. if you fail, he is probably most definitely give you, giving you the ticket. Listen, I've gotten just literally- Just if you offend him. I've literally gotten a speed ticket for going over one mile of the speed limit. I was- you Are you what serious? You have is what you have yeah. is an asshole cop. Like, I know- I have driven across yeah, he America. Was yeah, I know, I've driven across America, and the only state I know that's really, like, stringent was, like, Ohio had a bunch of problems, but that's because- it's they, Ohio. I, what else do they have to do there? I would <laughs> always have a lot, of they had a lot to do. In fact, the thing is, they had so much to do that they hired way too many of them briefly. So they had to like look around for stuff before. Oh, they had look to, like, at this one. Them. What do they oh, do for oh, recreation man. in Ohio? Opiates. Fucking. I <laughs> live in the. No, they're, I live... Real. they're like the worst hit by the opiate. One of the worst hit by the opiate places. Besides, wait, no, New Hampshire is actually the worst. Yeah. I live yeah, in the number one up there. Well, that's the number one in alcohol it... consumption. Was it? Oh, yeah, I yeah, actually really really are. Like, all, yep. all drugs fucking legal. At oh, the time. The new thing is, the thing is, we Shit. totally would do that because of our state motto: "Live free or die." Yeah, if we totally would. If we can, if we can use that to justify not paying income taxes, then yeah, we'll totally use it to justify legalizing something. Legalizing everything. I'm about to say, at the time I got that ticket, I lived in one of the smallest cities in the state of Missouri. But I'm just saying, like, if you've got time to do fucking opiates, you're probably not actually that productive. <laughs> oh jeez. And yet, but you want to know the other funny parts? What? Uh. 
A re the re that region of the U.S. has the highest, um, what is it? It has the highest IQ population, funny enough. Uh, the average IQ in New England is around 105 to 110. Uh, but that's also because a lot of the older institutions are there. Oh, but, I can put oh, my oh, shots. Poor um, Peter. But, uh, poor what is it? Poor Peter. We also have one of the lowest crime rates. Oddly enough. So as well as the reason, for instance, we drink a lot is not, oh, not really. It's not because of that. It's because <laughs> if it's winter and you're snowed in, what are you going to do? Well, there's nothing to do. The power's probably out, but alcohol doesn't need electricity. There's ice <laughs> fishing. Yeah, and on top of that, you just go outside, you collect some of the fresh snow and ice from the, uh, from the yard, and then you just put that in a glass, and then bam, you've got a frozen margarita on a snow day. On a snow day, it doesn't require power, so... We aren't doing anything when we're drinking. It's probably just, oh no, we're snowed in and maybe there's no power. Uh, Forget Riza? whiskey. Break out the tequila. Ooh, tequila con un gusano. Oh. Where's Riza? Tequila. Oh, uh, he's dead. He died. All right, well, I guess time is going to run out while Cheeseburger Ball sits there. Eh. Poor Riza. Nice. Since oh, you mentioned God. asshole, since Riley said something about asshole cops, all I could think is that one time I paid a three fifty tick, three fifty dollar tickets. No, for real, I do want to go on like a northern road trip with you guys. Just I don't there know what go. time of year, but like mm -hmm. I just think it would be fun. Yeah, see, um, I have the dangerous habit of listening to really adrenaline pumping music when I drive <laughs> on a highway. And so, uh... <laughs> no, that's fine, but can I make a recommendation? Uh, like, here's the thing, though. Because it because it's high-octane shit, most of the time I'll just fucking lead foot the entire way. So I'll be going, like, a hundred and fucking ten down the fucking highway. <laughs> Dude, you yeah, have I'm 15 seconds foot. to make the basket. Can you and make I it? Can, uh, I, I what?! Right Why I was you sitting fucking... back?! I got fucking pulled oh, over yeah, one, the by a fucking cop. <gasps> oh shit, it's over there. Doing one to, yes. Well, yeah, you just fucked yourself. <laughs> Bye, Ryza. Um, oh, anyway, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Um, I would want to drive at first, and I have one rule. Uh, I should, me or Riley, have to be the ones driving in Boston because, holy oh, shit, you need to know how to drive through Boston if you want to survive Boston because Boston is fucking scary. Yep. And what's even worse is that it's a city full of people who can drive. They just are extremely deadly about it. And by deadly, I mean they are assholes. Yeah. So California. Are, no, 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 not, no, no, not California. Because Californians can't drive for shit. They are literally the stupidest. Yeah, they no, are. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. No, no, as, yeah. drivers, as drivers. California is the type of motherfuckers that think they can go left on red. <laughs> no, no, here's the thing. I blew the brakes in my car. Because people didn't know how to drive. I had I was delayed 25 minutes to work every day in California because of a crash. There was not mm -hmm. a day, there was no crash that yeah, delayed me on the highway. That's why like, I've never minutes. had to factor that in. I've never had to factor that in in any other place in the United States. That's Name one why... other place where you have to account for the retardation of other drivers. Dude, yeah. no, my city? Oh, no, no, wait, wait. I just want to point out, though. Boston is scary because Bostonians know what they're doing, but they will literally play, like, deadly fucking chicken games with you to get you to get out of their way. Yeah. They probably know what they're doing. That's what, that's what makes Bostonians different. They know what they're doing. They're just really fucking passive-aggressive about it. Not so much passive, really, when you think about it. I'm gonna fucking run out of strokes here. Actually, yeah, no, it's more, it's more like very active. Actually, yeah, it's more active aggressive. But like, to give you an idea, um, sixty-nine. You know how intense. You know Motherfucker. Um, you can normally just take your time on a turn because, at least by northern standards, everyone just takes their time. But you can get away with that here. It's like up there in Boston, if you do not jump at the first instance at anything that is only slightly bigger than your car length. Everyone behind you hates you.